guys, Travelling Blade here, back again for another away vlog. Uh, yeah, another one uh, in only a matter of days. Today, United travel to Bloomfield Road to take on Blackpool on a Wednesday evening. What an absolute mess of a fixture that is. Blackpool away on a Wednesday night. Jesus. That would have been brilliant on a Saturday, but here we are. Blackpool, I think they're currently 13th, 6th point below us. Uh, there was a, quite a few uh, championship games last night, meaning that we have dropped currently to 7th uh, in the league. I think I think a win would take us back up to 4th, but that's going to be a big ask. Uh, a big ask because United absolutely littered with injuries. I think we've, had to, we've recalled uh, is Casper Lapata uh, back on loan from... He was on South End. I think we've had to do like a emergency loan recall. So I think he might be starting in place of uh, Kyron Gordon. And that back three tonight, I imagine having to, uh, after the poor showing away at Coventry, uh, Hecky, if he could, would have made a couple of changes, but we literally don't have the players. We really are struggling, you know, scratching around at the back, those back five positions. I think we might see Osborne in a right wing back position. Uh, Flex out, Ben David is out, uh, McBurney's out with a dead leg. Uh, Baldock's not going to be involved. Yeah. And that, th they're on top of the list of players we already knew were injured. Your Basham, your McGoldrick, Bogle, so on. Really are scratching around. But yeah, I just hopefully it's going to be better than that 4-1 defeat away at Coventry because that was absolutely woeful. We need a really big response tonight. Blackpool coming off of a 1-0 win uh, against Swansea, I think. It was a, M a Gary Medine goal. Gary Medine, obviously, ex blade in that promotion season to the Prem. It could cause us some trouble at the back, potentially. You know, our strikers... Aren't the best air really. Jack Robinson's okay, but Egan can get caught out with uh, someone as good in the air as Gary Medine. If we've got someone inexperienced, Gary Medine is not the quickest, but he's very experienced. Throws his weight around. Hopefully we keep him quiet tonight if he's playing. But yeah, I think it's going to be a, a hard game for Uni tonight for United. As it stands, I would take a draw. If we got a draw, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, be, that, that, I wouldn't be disappointed much because um, it obviously be an improvement on Saturday. But yeah... Blackpool away with the Donny Blades. Let's hope we can get something from tonight, United. Alan, what we're saying today, United win. Shape United. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shape United. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you reckon the score be today, Alan? United, which they actually called 1 0 up against Coventry. <laughs> yeah, but well, that all went fucking tits up. Oh, glass more gloss over the rest. I'm going to say 1 0 against United tonight. Oh, you reckon they'll score? I'm back to the winner. Oh, the fucking mate, fucking old Wednesday bastard. Come on, you red and white wizard! I'm going to say 1 1. Go in with schools first and shot counts to out. 1 1. End it, game. Swap shirts. Claire, are you going on? What do you reckon? 2-1. 2 one to who? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they are. <laughs> what do you reckon I'll score? Shark. Shark. Here we go, these referees. Here we go, and here we go, and here we go. Sheffield United and we're on a roll. Here we go. Whoa. Look at that, two of the goal. We've got the big green on. <laughs>
six here, half time nil nil. What do you reckon full time score be? Two one Blades. Two one. Who do you reckon will score for us? And um, I and Morgan gets white. And I. This lad will stand next to me at Liverpool, but less said the better. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Cheers, lads. Alright, mate. Half time nil nil. What do you reckon full time score be? Four nil. 2 0. 4 0. 4 0. Oh, sorry, you're there. 1 0 to the fucking mighty Blades. Fuck off, 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 Blades. Fuck Sanderberg last winner, minute winner. See you later, good Everyone. night. Yes. God bless, have a great day. Oh, oh morning. We ain't got one but no. Call a very day to get low. The motion is so united. All together now. Oh, the bar will love you, son, mate. John, what do you reckon score will be full time? 1 0 Blades. Who do you reckon will score? Billy Shaw. Billy, yes, lads. Avenge yourself like an ice dancing chef, yo. Like a greasy chip bushy, like Sheffield United, but the man again, no, 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 who? Can you not say it? Why is everything fucking bounce off us? Yeah, not tonight. Not to, we're second to everything. Everything. In out. So full time Blackpool nil United nil. Not a great game. Not a great game whatsoever. It, it's it went sort of how I expected it to go. To be fair, quite a tight cagey affair. I, th I thought personally it might be one all. I, I'd have taken the draw before the game. I think we should have won though. I, I'm disappointed we didn't win. Even though it wasn't a a great performance by United, we had seemingly two very good disallowed goals. Uh, I wasn't even aware of the first one, but I've seen it back, and for me that should have stood. Uh, Sander Berger's goal in the first half. Second half, Norwood's goal. Apparently, Sharp's in his way. Not for me. Not for me. He's not in his way. Uh, I think. I think the linesman, linesman just panicked. Uh, just saw some bodies offside. Didn't really know what was happening. Got bored and thought, I'll put my flag up. But yeah, not for me. I, I think we should have won at least one 0 given the fact that we actually scored two. Well, we should have won two 0 We scored two legitimate goals. Got them both ruled out arbitrarily. So yeah, but apart from them, it wasn't it. It wasn't a great performance by United. Um, I think we were the better team first half. They were the better team second half. I think we struggled to break them down. Their, 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 their centre backs uh, really, you know, nullified any attacking threat we had for a lot of the game. There was one of theirs at the back, number 26, quite tall. You know, he had some of our strikers in his pockets at times. We seemed to at times the ball just seemed to. I know we're at Blackpool and it's the seaside, but I didn't expect us to actually be playing with a beach ball. Seemingly, it just, we were because every time we tried to play a pass, you all, you know, half or half of our passes were just bouncing off our players. We we struggled to break them down. We lacked ideas and creativity at times. I know we're playing with um, a bit of a mix and match side, but a lot of those players, you know, Sharp, Gibbs, White, Berger, Norwood, those four alone, they'd be in your first choice United side if you could play it. Yeah, we've played a lot of games, but you know, most people have really now. It's, I know it's an old cliche of the championship, but 
everyone's playing loads of games all the time, really. I think if we'd have played Coventry again tonight, we'd have lost. I think the only difference, really... I think we did get a bit better. Than, I was about to say the only difference between this game and the Coventry game was that we played a better side. But I think we did get better. Egan wasn't great, but he was better. There was times where... Uh, he let Medine get the better of him, but he then started to fight back a little bit himself. I thought it was nice to see Asula come on. I thought it was Jebison at first. I was on a debate with Lewis behind me. I was convinced it was Jebison, and I was like, oh, no, 32. And then we asked the, the ladies next to us because they had a programme saying, who's number 32? And apparently number 32 wasn't even on the programme. So uh, we eventually found out it was Asula. Um, it was nice to see him come on and get some game time. You know, it's his, his professional debut, I think, for Sheffield. So... Fair play to the lad. Hopefully we'll see more of him in the coming years as he becomes a bit of a star for us. But that was nice to see. But yeah, great day out. Absolutely loved the day out with the Blades family. Everyone that came up and said hello, uh, asking for videos and that. Thank you very much. It's always very much appreciated. Great day out. Just the game was uh, it's a bit like lusted to fit. I didn't rate the ground. The away end was poor. You've got about one pillar every two metres seemingly. You know, you we were trying to stretch down to see... The other end, it was sort of like the Peterborough end, but just not as good. When it was the first half, or the second half and Blackpool were attacking, I could barely see what was going the on. The bit I could see was, you know, that was the end that United had barely any chances at. But yeah, I think Blackpool could have scored, should have scored. Um, we did score, didn't count. Um, we had a couple of the chances here and there. Wes, uh, I don't know, he had that sort of flap saved, didn't he? But apart from that, he didn't have to do too much. I don't even know who I'd say my man of the match was for United, to be fair. Um, it just seemed quite a stagnant stalemate at times, to be fair. There was bits where it was quite exciting, but a lot of it was just, I don't know, sort of going through the motions, bouncing around midfield, us trying to go on the attack and just running out of ideas and getting shut off by Blackpool. So, fair play, they defended us quite well. Um, not impressed with the referee and the linesman whatsoever. But, you know, it's Sheffield United. That's how, that's how it goes, uh, Sheffield United. It's, that's just what happens to us. Uh, I think we're down to ninth now, but we're still all very close in like that top between like fourth and tenth or something like that. We've got a very big game coming up on Saturday. Barnsley at home. Barnsley are in very good form. Very good form indeed. I think they're like in the second in the form table, maybe even first. They're doing really, really well. Um, South Yorkshire Derby. So it's going to be a hard game. Half 12 kickoff as ever against Barnsley. Um, it's going to be a hard game. A very hard game. And... I just hope... I thought the atmosphere was better last night than Coventry, so let's hope we can get a very good atmosphere on Saturday. Bramall Lane. Let's hope we can get three points against Barnsley. Anyway, guys, I've been the Travelling Blade, and I'll see you for Barnsley at home.